was good, but the basket was no good. So now Canada with an opportunity to run. This is dangerous as Powell. If you don't slow the ball, that's going to happen to you. It's hard. It's so hard, especially for a Brazilian team that really wants to run. Oh, oh goodness me! Is something that you know, it won't be. It won't be something that uh, Coach Fernandez hasn't seen. And out. Penetrates, spin move. Nice little hang time. It's going to be an AM1. You got to get out and defend and pressure them if you want them to penetrate earlier in the shot clock. But then that happens. Linick left open in transition at his three point shot. Benici, you said it. Shot fake. Ooh, pass fake. Oh, oh. vintage. Where does that? Yeah, one of, the, one of the right guys, for one of a better phrase, getting a look. Yeah, yeah, at the end of the shot clock. SGA up and under is good. And everything he does looks easy. Why nothing was called on that play. Well, the trailing big Suarez knocks it down from. Pushes that lead back up to 10. And. Wow. I believe it was a block. Another stat line. Ooh. You know, what else is he going to do? Yago penetrates. He draws. Gies. Three-point shot is good at the buzzer. Well, maybe the unlikely shoot. Canada almost in a zone. And make that two, folks, in this half. Canadian fans shaking in their boots. Well, who do you go to when you need a bucket? Boclo has a big advantage. Yago goes middle. Oh, oh, and that's good for two. Obviously, they're going to want to try and use as much clock, I imagine, here. Brooks. Yago, he made oh. the last one, and he makes that one. He gives Brazil a four-point lead. No help side. Decided to play this the same way the whole game. And it's the one way Brazil has, all, has got good shots. And so a nice play out on the out-of-bounds as Brazil scores. Canada. Find Barrett. Barrett's three-point shot is good, but that is probably not enough time. That is it as Canada with possibly a shock loss. Brazil, they're acting cool, but you know they're enjoying themselves right now.